Good afternoon. Today we're going to be looking at my LS5055. Good afternoon, everybody. This is my LS XU5055 with the LL5103 loader. This is a 55 horsepower tractor. Um, only attachment I've ever ran on it is the uh, loader and then this little uh, bell spear I turned into a hitch. As you can see, it's still got the cover on it, so not much use. It's got two sets of rear remotes. It's got the front and rear windshield wiper, the tank. It's uh, manual cable rear remotes, which I personally like. One has a detent, uh, which makes it really nice. You can add a third set of remotes. Uh, you like the Coyote, you got the third point uh, up and down from right there. The rear wheels are set all the way out. Um, the fronts, uh, they're set as far out as they can. Uh, actually, looks really mean. But anyways, this loader right here, I have had a set of uh, pallet forks on it. And the pallet forks on this tractor, I was able to lift up a 4,000 pound pallet of uh, concrete. And that's as much as I've ever lifted with it. It brought the rear tires off the ground and they're loaded. But um, I have not started this tractor for probably two months, I would say. I don't get to use it much at all. I, have a, I don't do any farming with it. It's only for snow removal. But I figured I'd uh, give you guys a quick start up and let you see how it runs and operates. So uh, I'm going to shut this door for startup purposes. It is about 70 degrees out, uh, 75. I'm kind of toasty. It's real humid. But um, I'm just going to show you the noise level that we have in here. Uh, so here we go. Turn the key on. See the gauges. See, it starts right up. I mean, it's a really quiet tractor. Uh, I'll go over more of the details later. As you can see, we got the left and right brakes. You got the clutch over here. You got your gas pedal. It's really nice compared to the uh, John Deere's and Kubota's and stuff I've seen. You got this PTO switch. So you turn the PTO on, and to turn it off, you just click it, which is really nice. You got your manual and auto PTO for when you raise and lower. You got an additional light for a beacon. You can get one more right here for whatever you want to run. You got a uh, set of lights on the uh, on the front of the cab right here. Uh, right there they are. You have your horn button and your flasher button. Right here you got your turn signals, your headlights. Um, over here on the side you got your front back windshield washer. You got your uh, lights. You got this one right here that's got the D10 in it. It's D10 in both ways. Then the green one right here is just your regular third function valve. You have a radio uh, with a remote. I'll show you right here. It's actually a really nice Sony uh, radio that they have in it. You got your heat and AC. We're going to go ahead and turn some AC on in here. Uh, over here you got your First, second, neutral, third, fourth gears, and down there you got a parking brake. I wish in tractors they located a parking brake up higher where you could get some nice leverage on them instead of having to bend over. That's whatever. Down here you have your uh, your lever to change your steering wheel position. You got your throttle, and this is a non-power uh, forward reverse. It's just a just a regular, you know, hold the clutch in and move it. Now, this tractor has super fast hydraulics. Uh, I was going to buy a John Deere. Uh, they're really slow hydraulics, and that's one of the main things that led me away from John Deere. I really wanted a Kubota, but the dealer's far away. Uh, so anyways, this is just at idle, and I just want to show you guys the, I mean, hydraulics. Oh, and uh, so right here, really nice joystick level, positioned really nicely. and. If I rev it up all the way,
as you can see, that is just absolutely fast. I mean, that's just amazingly fast. Another thing that really brought me to this tractor right here that a lot of people won't understand. Right here we have this. So, down here, sorry, everything's getting away. Down here we have uh, your three-point hitch levers. One's for the uh, one's for the up and down, and one is to set, you know, the height. So this over here is actually really neat. Instead of messing around down there all the time, you set where you want your height. Right? So you set the lower for the height, and in this one right here. I have found you can either set it like, so if we set this one right here for the lower the height and we set this one all the way down, that allows you to put it down the lower height. Now this right here allows you, you know, to bring it up. Well, this right here, I'll show you. you click it off and you just pull it back up and it clicks it on. Now I'm going to show you, you can hear the button, I'm going to show you what it does when I click it. It lowers the three point and then when I pull it back to click, it clicks up. So when you're riding around doing your three-point motions, when you're ready to drop it, click it. You drop whatever you're dropping. Ready to bring it back up? It's just as simple right here, and you can get back. Now, I've found, you know, you can come over here, click it back up, and still be able to use your joystick. That's really important. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just, hopefully gonna give you a quick little ride around, maybe an outside sound view, and uh, show you how high this loader can lift. So another thing I got, forgot to mention is your four drive is down here. I wish it had been electronic, but the manual is nice. You just got to reach down for it. It's easy to engage. You pull it up for four drive and push it down for two wheel drive. And you do have your rear locker down there. I hate that you have to get off the gas pedal to press it, but you always have a hand throttle you can rely on. So it's not total catastrophic. Um, but here we are. We're in fourth range we're in I'll show you, you know, over and then this way this way is just relaxed in first and second push it up in the first now we're going to show you we're going to push it forward let off the clutch and I mean as simple as driving any tractor throttle up change in a second third gear, probably moving like 15 mile an hour or so right now. It's actually a really easy tractor to drive. It's got boatloads of power. I mean, for a 55 horsepower, it's got boatloads of power. This tractor right here weighs in somewhere about 11,000 pounds is, uh, I believe, what I added up. I've never put it on a scale or nothing, but yeah, so you just, you know, get forward, Grab reverse, let off the clutch. Nice and simple. It's got an auto leveling bucket. You know, super, I mean, super nice tractor. That auto leveling bucket right there, and plus how much weight it picks up, is just phenomenal. I mean, when you raise your load up, you don't have to worry about it coming back onto the tractor. You don't have to worry about operator error. Nothing like that. You, you're raising the load, you raise it straight up. If you're lowering the load, you know. You drop it straight down. But we're going to ride back up to the top of my lock here behind the radio station. And we're going to show you, you know, some ins and outs of it. A little low on fuel. But yeah, this tractor's got 48.2 hours. And I've filled it up three times from about a quarter to empty. So, I mean, it, I don't, you know, I don't do heavy PTO loads with this, nothing like that. Just ride it around and snow plowing, but the way I figure riding it around burns more fuel than PTO action. You know, people say things. But we're going to ride up here to the top. We're going to give you guys a little uh, in-depth in look of under the hood. I'm going to just go ahead and... Raise that all the way up. Set the e-brake. Turn it off. Yeah. 
here we have it. The XU 5055 with no DEF. This is a 2016 model and it does not use DEF. Right here's the fuel tank. You know, I wish it had some guards on it. Maybe at some point if I do a brush hogging service or something, I will add guards. But as it is, I will not. Now, on the loader subframe, you got this big heavy duty, you know, it ain't constru constructed no light duty pipe like a lot of other people do it. It's got a big heavy duty system. And then up underneath the tractor, it runs all the way to the rear. I mean, this tractor is solid. Now, there's your dipstick, it's easy to get to. Your starter, it's easy to get to if you ever need to replace it. Cooler, I mean, everything on this tractor is in a nice position. It don't have any, you know, fancy belts you can't get from a parts store. Nothing like that. It does have a metal hood, which the release lever is right down here. And the hood is, I'm gonna have to set you guys down. The hood is, you know, too heavy to release and lift up with one hand. It's got your air filter, nice plain sight, you know, easy to service. Battery, nice plain sight, easy to service. Computer disconnects, nice and easy. So, it does have an air-to-air -air cooler, which I have not found on a lot of tractors. Uh, let's see, there's your AC pump. You know, of course, it's got your Japanese writing on it. But, uh, easy to service. You got your hydraulic pumps right there, easy to service. You know, your oil. Uh, right here's your, you know, some odds and ends, your condensers and filters show you another thing I really like about this tractor look at that exhaust nice simple nice and easy nothing gets in the way of each other if you take the hood of this tractor off you will not have to take any one item off to replace another it's a big thing for me when I was looking for a tractor let me show you all right there's just a the little turbo Pretty simple, pretty easy. But I like how everything's tied up, everything's in place. Nothing is where it shouldn't be. But yeah, it's got the uh, five year warranty, bumper to bumper. This is not engine, this is bumper to bumper. You will not break something on this tractor, not by your own fault, but you will not break something that will not be covered. Right here, here's your diverter valves. It's all mechanical with cable. Uh, something I don't like being mechanical, but something I do like, you know. I use this tractor for snow plowing. Mechanical cables and salt don't get along very well. But there is not one item that I cannot just go and get tomorrow. Now, you know, uh, no matter what it is, it's possible to break it, and you're going to find its weak points. But anyways, I like how the uh, the muffler is up underneath the hood, and then you got the exhaust pipe that runs out and runs up the side of the tractor. What that does is let your visibility be absolutely perfect. Now, this is a Shibaru four-cylinder turbo diesel great great engine from what I found you there's not a time it will not start you got steps on both sides doors you can open on both sides this tractor I've got it on some pretty steep hills and it will not flip over I'm just gonna stand back right now to show you guys that bucket lifts high enough in the air I can load a full-sized triaxle dump truck and I have. You got this big, I think it's a one and a half inch draw bar. Uh, multiple, multiple settings. You got these three point links, which these are the ones I love. 
you know, I leave mine loose because I like just being able to hook up the stuff nice and easy. And there's no implements I use that I use in reverse. But you can put the pin in them and tighten them down. Works perfect. So you can just see what, how massive this thing is. You know, it's got a window right there you can see. It's got trailer plug-ins off from the factory. It's got nice giant cab bushings. All the electrical and everything's held up perfect. Nice big drain plugs where you can get to them. I take this and set it down. Now, I will show you guys something. I have one at the house, and I'll leave one on here. Uh, this right here. There's supposed to be one on both arms. The one on that side, I leave off in case one ever happens to get lost, or I just need one at the house for another tractor, because it is a great idea. For those of you guys that recognize backhoe stuff, this right here unscrews and sits on this hydraulic right here, so that way this cannot fall and crush you. The loader will stay up. It is impossible to hurt you. I really, really, really wanted to buy an American-made tractor. But for the things that this tractor had and the price tag, which I paid, I paid five grand down and I got the price out the door after taxes and everything was 32,300 or 32,600 something like that but 32 grand and I mean I didn't get any extra implements and my dealer gave me a $5,000 open credit limit for the 0% 72 months like I have so what that means if I want pallet forks if I want a bush hog if I want anything I come back to him and he gives it to me and installs it on my loan. I mean, I, I think that's great. If I got in a bind for work and needed something, just come to him and get it. But yeah, this is the LS XU5055. I've got a couple more videos for you. I got some with snow plowing. I'm probably going to buy a brush hog and do some brush hogging videos. So if you guys just stick along, I'll show you more about it. And if you got any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, if I went over. A couple great features of this tractor, and I'm sure there's many, many more. It has not let me down yet. Thank you. Bye-bye.
people in this hotel don't see this every day. We're in Christiansburg, Virginia right now, getting ready to load up with some diesel fuel. See you out here at the Shell Station.